I'm sick of these Kylo Ren memes. He's already in good shape, but enough already. Goodness. <laughs> Kylo Ren memes, the main thing that came out of Star Wars The Last Jedi, right there. Chest about a yay wide. Oh my and God. He's in great shape. All that blue milk. All that blue milk. That's why Luke is <laughs> drinking that milk. He's got to get on Kylo Ren's level, man. I mean, all the, all the criticism of the movie, there is endless amounts of memes and weirdness uh, with that movie so much yep. quirky weirdness i mean <laughs> shirtless <laughs> kylo ren you're eating uh, your popcorn all of a sudden you get a nipple shot of kylo ren out of nowhere right. <laughs> all right so today we're going to talk oh. about night sisters because night sisters Yeesh. are blowing up in the arena right now and we're going to discuss pretty much two things you know which night mm -hmm. sister team is best on defense and then right now there's also starting a debate on which is a better leader Talzin or Asajj and what everybody does know is that there are four heroes that are used pretty much always that's Talzin, Asajj, Daka, Night Sister Zombie and then in the fourth slot uses usually one of three characters General Kenobi, Acolyte or Zeta Barris. What do you think about mm -hmm. the Night Sisters? I think they're a really good faction. The only thing right now is they're just there's just the paywall for getting Mother Talzin starred up. Because in Arena, you really need that gear 12 on Talzin, and you need a 7-star Talzin. And the only way to get a 7-star Talzin is if you have a lot of crystals, somehow either you save them or you spend money. And that's the only main issue. But I feel like they'll be free to play somewhere down the road, most likely a slow farm. But overall, very good dark side faction that uh, only has one weakness, and that's really AoE teams. Right. That's it. Yeah, I've got this on autoplay right now. I'm attacking your team, which is, mm -hmm. you know, we've done the testing, and we think this test right. is probably the best defensive team. You know, maybe substituting out Thrawn, old Ben, I don't know, but it, it's this is still probably the best defensive team out there right now. People are having a hard time with this team, but really, Night Sisters don't have a hard time at all. Like, we're just going through yeah. it, and, you know, basically, what makes this team interesting is that when the Acolyte goes stealth, there's that combo where <laughs> basically with Night Sister Zombie and Acolyte pretty much can't die. And, you know, yep. and what's happening here is that basically Plague is just taking over and then eventually yeah. they'll die. It's just that Night Sister team, they really revolve around that Plague. They're not a big damage dealing team by any means, but they just try to draw out the battle, like kind of plague you to death until you finally bite the dust. They're not a damage dealing team by any means like CLS or they're not buff heavy. They just they hide under self with Acolyte and Zombie and they just try to run down the clock with Plague. And they're, they could be a tricky team. That's for sure. Yeah. Especially they're a great anti to the to the meta. Just a, again, the only thing that's hard right now is the paywall to get Mother Talzin to seven stars. That's kind of right. important right now. And we're gonna just gonna yeah. show you there know you how go. the Talzin does against you know the the meta teams right now. The the mm. Jedi training Ray. And then we're also gonna provide a solution at the end of the video. If you know if you <laughs> can't solution. beat them. Just an easy way of beating them. So let's go in and and do yours. All right, I'm going in right now. Here we go. Getting into battle. And we did a test. It was actually a pretty good battle. It yeah. came really close. It really came down to BB getting Illuminated Destiny off and then having uh, R2 just really spam his uh, his burning. That's right. really what it comes down well, to. But the two Kenobis, they lost. They, they died really early in battle. Yeah. Well, and the, the R2 is, the burning is what's going to finish this off because we've got to get to the Acolyte. Mm -hmm. You know, if the kill order is pretty much Daka, Talzin, Asajj, and then hopefully mm -hmm. the Acolyte will come out of stealth or if you can kill the Acolyte through the burning. But because you're using the leadership on Jedi Training Ray with the foresight, the cooldowns on R2 kind of speed up. But this is still pretty tricky. Yep. I don't think this is a guaranteed win. It's not a guaranteed win. Look, look, uh, old Ben, he's almost done here. Right. Because all that plague has four plagues on him. That's what's slowing him down. And we really have to get Doc out because if you don't get Doc out, she just keeps reviving Talzin. And it just becomes a really annoying battle here. We should be almost done with Talzin here. Uh, see, if we had Imperial Troopers right now, man, all these revives, look at that. Uh, the Talzin's back at full health here. Ay, 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 papi. Okay, oh let's see. We sake. have to somehow... Oh, uh, Ben, he's done. Doc well, look at that. Back. They get rid of all the plague, though. All your plague disappeared got, because that's right. There that's we go. Great. Yeah, that's the old Ben. I guess that was a good thing. He bit the dust, and now we're back at full health. So we just got to prevent Talzin from doing a plague. Uh, no, he didn't get any uh, stun. Let's see. Can I... There we go. Let's see. And then there comes the revive again. I'm trying to prevent her from doing the plague. Let's do an AoE here. Try to chop down the health on the Acolyte there. All right, let's finish off uh, Android lag for the win. 
<laughs> and there we go. Oh, so now no. yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No All comment. right, let's see. Come on. <laughs> no comment on that. Come on. Oh, buddy. Okay. Uh, I think Illuminate Destiny is what's going to... It's, yeah. it's going to come soon. Uh, I'm going to... Should you I... got Ability Block already Termic. on there. I don't think that's going to help. I'm trying to remove Termic. She's going to taunt again in a second. Uh, okay. I'll save it. Okay. Uh, let's remove some Term Meter because I have no more Term Meter to move on my team. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, hold stun. on. Stun. Uh, stun. Yeah. Yeah. Stun. They're gonna, there we go. Let's see. Can we finish her off? Uh, close. There we go. Okay. So now we, it's going to come down to Illuminated Destiny. We have 18 turns left, but that should fly by because of all the cooldown reductions here. All right. Now we're stuck behind her. Um, all right. Yeah, it's really going to come down. We're getting there. Now we have nine turns left. Maybe next turn we should have it. Ah, uh, they revived their whole team. They're, oh, no. There we go. No, only Daka came back. Okay. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, you got it. I got to get it before Daka does anything tricky. I know. We're. Oh, holy cow. Wow. That's it. Ah, we didn't get as lucky this game like we did in our first test here. So I don't think. We, we, we've we've no. tested this yeah. and it's pretty much a 50 50, right? Yep. It's a 50 50. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. It's uh, RNG was on my side. The constant heals on Talzin really kind of slowed me down here. And I mean, there's really not right. much I could do now. Okay. Yeah, so. so we'll just what we're gonna do in the, the dust. we're gonna do in the next battle is we're gonna you're Ooh, gonna attack 46, again, uh, but you're gonna attack with Thrawn. So subs out your general, uh, your old bed, and see if Thrawn helps you. Okay. Because right now the the two teams that are dominating for Jedi Ray teams are either with mm -hmm. old Ben or Thrawn, and mm -hmm. we're not sure if people are using Thrawn just because they have Thrawn better developed or if yeah. it's, he's actually better or not so we're trying to find that out here too yep that's uh i think yeah thrawn is a character a lot of people have geared up i mean he's not a bad character he he's amazing in, uh fills in nicely yeah i'm probably gonna fracture zombie so she stops taunting here let's see actually let's do yeah you want to fracture well, zombie that just allows yeah, you to get to dock zombies. yeah mm -hmm. all right here we go and so unfortunately we don't have old ben because that was kind of nice in that last battle when old ben died everyone was back at full health and it kind of uh, bought me some time. Now, I'm going to get rid of Daka because she's just so annoying when it comes to those constant revives here. And the stuns really slow me down. Let's see. Another stun? Well, I could have done the stun on Talzin, actually. Could have. Could have. Would have. Should have. Um, let's see. I don't know if it matters okay. much. All right. She's done. All right. Okay. We got the secret intel still cooking. Uh, shoot. Let's see. Should we do a stun? Stun? Probably. I, don't, I think she has another plague or AOE set up here. Uh, let's move some turn meter on her. Okay. Boy, this okay, is yeah. so Thrawn. intense playing up against... It is. It's a lot. It's, it feels like I'm defusing a bomb, sort of. That's what it kind of feels like. We have plague in pretty much everyone, so I can't do any cleanses or anything like that. Yeah, because plague prevents all that from happening. Okay. Now, let's work on Asajj. Okay. Uh, Problem so... is, is that you don't have uh, R2, so unless Acolyte falls out of stealth, you've lost. Oh, BB-8. I just noticed. Yeah. I just noticed that he... BB, I mean the oh, R2. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean you're. You mean the burning is gonna is maybe yeah. you'll take out, but um, got it. I mean, all right. So I now, think, but the problem is, I think the whole team's gonna get revived because look, Thrawn's almost down. Uh, man, I don't know. I can't. Uh, can we? Let's see if we can maybe just keep bring burning up here. We'll do this. Okay. Cause Ray, she's uh, she's in pretty good shape right now. She's yeah. Got full health. Okay, let's uh, just, I don't know, let's keep removing the Terminator. I don't, it doesn't really matter. Fractions, wait, I'm going to say Fraction just in case we somehow, I don't know, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to say Fraction. No sense of fracturing him or her. My bad, my bad. Um, yeah, now it's just pretty much, I have to just. Burning is what it's going to come down to. Yeah, it comes uh, down I to think, burning. I think you've got it'd be this. a lot faster. Yeah, I think you've we'll got see. this now. Let's just, I'm going to, I'm going to, because I'm fighting the clock, let's just auto this because it's just going to come down to uh, R2D2 constantly using Burning. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's it's really difficult because they just keep reviving, they keep doing all these assists from the dead, and it's it's, it's, a, it's a tricky team to beat, and uh, it's not unbeatable. But for people running the top end teams right now, that's where the trouble comes in. Now let's see. Mm, yeah. Oh, Ray's not looking too hot right now. Let's see. Oh man. Yeah. That's yeah. It's just it's just this combo that's it, it can be such an annoyance. I mean, we're almost down here. We're almost down. Oh, Night Sister act like got a little bit of health on that uh, last attack she did. Yeah, look, she's back at full health. Yeah, BB would have made, would have helped a ton in this lineup. So this either is gonna time out or, um, 
Yeah, I think it's going to time out because now we have no plague on me, uh, fortunately. Um, wow, yeah, this is yeah. so annoying. Uh, it's, an anno oh. it's annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying. Definitely one of the more annoying teams out there for people running this type of lineup. Um, so unfortunately, we didn't record the first battle where I was able to win. It came down to Ray and the two droids. Yeah. Um, well, BB-8 yeah, helps yeah. quite a bit. Um, I mean, there's a I know chance how we that Acolyte this. will come out of stealth, but Acolyte is... Uh, Looks like uh, healing herself up and the burning is really not being effective right now. I wanted to do a video. We're going to do this next. I wanted to record Ray with a bunch of droids. I know how I could beat this team with the same Ray line. If I put IG-88 in here, I think I could beat your team easily. Well, 88, um, yeah. I mean, any, yeah, he's got any, all any that, AOE is As we said, be... a, yeah, AOE. Yeah, it's just AOE damage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, wait maybe you got this. might win. Yeah, it's, 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 oh, wait, come on. Come on, baby. I think you got oh, it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. You're going to oh. get it. You're going to get it. You're Acolyte get keeps it. getting the heal. She keeps healing herself. It's so annoying. Oh, come on. Come on. Stop healing yourself. So we just need to get, keep getting the exposed and burning, and but she just keeps healing herself. Man, this is annoying. Okay, come on, Pete. Come on, R2. Baby. All right. Come on. Oh, not enough. Oh, my not God. Enough. And then, <laughs> oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. You lost your BB-8. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, it's back that's it's annoying. Over. People who complain Darth Maul is annoying. You gotta take those words back. This is more annoying in my opinion than Maul. I, I, Maul was easy to beat. I don't know why people made a big fuss. If you had Captain Rex and soon later on R2D2, Maul was so easy to beat. Right. Uh, even before R2D2, Captain Rex made Maul, Maul teams really easy to beat. All right. So the second most popular team right now is using the same team but taking out Acolyte. And putting in General mm -hmm. Kenobi now, I think the Acolyte basically is going to deter anybody without AOE from attacking you, which I think is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is easier or the same or different. Yeah, I don't. I think cause that last battle you won, it really just came down to Acolyte. That's really right. all it came down to. Yeah, uh, let's do a fracture on uh, Kenobi, maybe. Uh, yes, yeah, do that. There we go. I don't want him taunting throughout the whole entire battle. Uh, but yeah, that's really all it came down to in that last battle, just Acolyte. It was two minutes of me messing around with Acolyte the whole entire time. Uh, oh, should I cleanse R2? Yeah, probably. Uh, no, 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 no. R2 can stay stunned for a while. I need the three attacks. There we go. All right, call everyone to assist. All right, all Daka. Right, there we go. Daka's almost done here. Right. Um, now, I did do a lot of battles against mirror matches, like Night Sister mm -hmm. versus Night Sister. And the one thing I found okay. out is that... Asajj was quite a bit better on a mirror match because there is some difference between Asajj and Talzin. Talzin, they both have 30 extra speed, but Talzin gives extra potency and it does this really cute thing where if one of the Night Sisters in the graveyard and you do a basic attack, they'll come back and it says that bonus attack. Mm -hmm. Saw that right there with Daka. And yep. whenever, if they successfully kill somebody, they basically are revived. So it makes mm -hmm. them more resilient. Now, Asajj is more of a damage output and turn meter yeah. manipulation. So Asajj, they both get the 30 speed, but Asajj will give offense boost. And then also there's all kinds of really cool turn meter reductions, which really works well with Asajj's AOE and Talzin's AOE. Mm -hmm. And in a mirror match, basically it comes down to Asajj ramping up and, and just wiping out the whole team. But you're still having trouble here, aren't you? Yeah, but Kenobi, it's not Kenobi that's causing the trouble. It's just the, the, all these plagues are just, um, they, they, they're just a really big annoyance. That's really what it comes down to. Just, uh, yeah, it's AOE that really comes down to being this. You can put anyone really in that last slot. I mean, I think Akali is still the better choice because I would have won that last battle, but Akali was just dragging down the whole thing. She revived the whole entire enemy team Right. Um, that last battle. So I don't know if Kenobi is necessary for this team. I've seen people still run over with AOE type of teams, even though people claim Kenobi's better. I still see troopers run over them. I see even, there's some actually some videos out there with Lando lead teams, IG-88, all this AOE just spamming the right. crap out of Night Sisters and they'll still die. So I don't think Kenobi's really that helpful for this team, to be honest. Okay, so what we've done here is we've just swapped out the leadership. Now we've got Asajj's leadership and, and Arnold's gonna attack and we're gonna see if this makes a difference. Now this should be a faster team with more turn mm -hmm. meter manipulation. Yeah but less resilient. Now, you've got that lightning-fast R2-D2, almost 300 yep. speed, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, the, the one thing, we try to make sure our mods are equally fast. 
And um, in our test shard, we just got to have, yeah, pretty fast R2-D2. That's really what it comes down to. Now, I want right, to say on offense, block. the Night Sisters are a no-brainer. They pretty much always win on offense. Oh, and yeah. So that's why we're testing mm -hmm. it on defense, because that's where close. rubber meets the road when you wake up in the morning and you see how many slots you've, you've fallen. Uh, but this is a different mode. I got to tell you, if you're getting a lot of Night Sisters and having mirror matches, uh, having Asajj as this was the best offensive team I found right here that you're playing against for Night mm -hmm. Sisters. Yeah, I wish I could cleanse BB. I wanted to assist in that last uh, turn I had with Ray, but with that plague, you just can't uh, can't do any assist with him because um, I can't cleanse him. Let's see here. Um. The one thing I am looking forward to, once I finally defeat old Doc, I don't have to worry about her reviving herself. That's kind of what yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I think the no team pretty much cleanse. falls apart once you've killed Doc, Daka, but you've got two tanks yeah. to worry about, which is problematic, yeah, right? And that's what you're going up against right now is the two tanks. I, I kind of want old Ben to die right now so I can finally go and get a bunch of health. Uh, health oh, there you go. There you got it. There you got I it. I got old Ben. He's on the next turn. He's, he's going to be done for. Hey, come on. Come on, Benny. Take one for the team. All right. So this right. is going to so fall Doc apart. Is done. You got to. Yeah. Yeah, we're almost there. Uh, that doesn't yeah, help there's, there's no, at all. Yeah, it does. I mean, yeah. It doesn't, doesn't help at all when you do that. None. Yep, here we go. Let's see. Can we get a stun on Kenobi? Ah, uh, no. But Ben, come on, Ben. I don't want you around anymore. No one loves you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, boy. BB, there we lost the plague on BB, fortunately. Okay. Um, we're going to lose Kenobi very shortly here. Ah, uh, we lost all of our lovely buffs. And now we're back to having plague up, up the wazoo. Come on. Come on. We gotta finish off Kenobi here. I should be able to finish him off soon. Um, come on, keep secret intel going. We gotta keep the keep the, the spark alive. I, right, I do think and... there's I think there's value in Kenobi on the Night Sister team. It just seems really annoying. Yeah, it's definitely annoying. I think uh, it makes it harder to get to Daka and then to Talzin. Well, see now you're gonna be able to get to Talzin. Oh mm -hmm. boy, look at um, your here. You gotta get Illuminate Destiny to go off. Or else yeah, it's lights I'm not out. gonna do any stealth. Let's um, keep hitting those exposes here. Um, come on, BBA, you're our only hope here. Ah, uh, oh, no, it's boy. game set, man. Yeah, double tanks is something really popular nowadays. Uh, because you, when you lose one tank, you still have another one to fall back to. Because it's really easy to get rid of a single taunt nowadays. Um, that's why a lot of people do uh, double tanks like Stormtrooper, Sword Trooper, double Kenobi. Uh, there's a lot like uh, the, the Kenobi, Night Sister, Zombie. So, uh, yeah, I think double tanks is something really important nowadays because we have so many buff to spell. I've thrown in the last defensive team right here, which is uh, basically Asaz Ventress with uh, the Talzin, Daka, Zombie, and then Zeta and Barris. And, oh, this is another serious, annoying team. And you were just saying something. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. Uh, let's remove that taunt. This is like oh, going to the dentist, that. huh? Yeah, it's a, yeah, this is like, I'm not enjoying this at all. I mean, I'm not having fun doing this. It's, it's painful. It's, um, yeah, it's just like I said earlier, it's like diffusing a bomb. It's just so annoying to do. I can't cleanse BB-8, so let's just call an R2. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's that's a really cool mechanic. Besides the fact that play goes right under health, it prevents cleansing when you have it. That is just, that's insane. It's, uh, it's, it's a really powerful debuff right there that you can't get away until you get full health. And that's another thing. If you have a team that gets a lot of health, um, Regeneration, whether it's a short trooper or some other big healer, like uh, uh, I think there's actually there's not really too many big straight healers. We have a lot of he heal, uh, healing equalization, but not right. straight healers like short trooper. Um, let's see, I mean, well, Asajj is a healer, and so is Doc as a healer. Yeah, Asajj's mirror yeah, yeah, matches yeah, yeah, yeah. are really interesting because mm -hmm. they they show a lot of of uh, healing, and it's about plague management. And that's and yep. I, I gotta tell you, um, if if you're a Talzin lead and you're attacking an Asajj lead, you can't win. You have to do uh, the 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 Ventress is definitely the stronger of the two. And you can see mm -hmm. here, it there looks like go. Jedi Ray is just dead in the water versus yeah. a Talzin team. I'm waiting for oh, my my <laughs> my. I need to get old Ben to die really fast against that. Well, now, like now you can you, you can get, you can get out. You got to take out Talzin secondly. Yep, Talzin's next on the to-do list. Um, all right, there we go. Okay. So we got just plague on. Let's get some retribution on here. But I hopefully, I think. Uh, ooh, does she have her? Does she have her buff this spell? I can't remember. If she has it ready. Yeah, that's a really um, annoying. That's really annoying. I just might want to stun mm, her. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she has it ready. There we go. Okay, let's keep working on. Halzen. Um, there's the taunt. Again, bunches oh, of exposes. Those are actually very helpful. 
Yeah, it exposed is really helpful. And I Bypass need against Zeta um, Barris, you know, is what's nice about there the expose. We go. Yeah, it's nice to. Okay. I'm going to just keep stunning. I know she has it ready now. There we go. She definitely has it ready. Okay, we're going to get Illuminate Destiny hopefully by next turn. Oh get a boy. healing immunity on Talzin. There, oh, we, go. there we go. Much better. M much better. Okay, now BB 8. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Now we just got to get around here. All right, there we go. Get an AoE. Right. So uh, this is like sure the so this is up. definitely not the, you know the Zeta Barris really is not doing anything. The Kenobi was more effective. I have to yeah, say. Yeah, the yeah yeah it's, it's definitely effective. I mean uh, we're getting all this this heal. It's a slow down uh, zombie. She doesn't taunt again. I need to work on his uh, Assage. Um, yeah, I, there's really no threats over there. This is just more of you. I mean, once the Illuminated Destiny goes off and. The plague mechanic is gone. Go. This is over. Plague is, yeah. This team, as we said, it, it revolves around plague. It's not a damage dealing attack where if you take out one character, you still have to worry about some guy hitting for 50,000. This is all about just uh, managing plague. And unless you have AoE, right. self healing of some sort, or a good healer on your team, not healing equalization, but a good healer, um, it's really hard to beat these. Okay, yeah, I hit my wrong person. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Another Illuminated Destiny. And uh, there we it's go. It's over. But yeah, okay. Barris isn't, yeah, she wasn't helpful that much. Okay, so in your opinion, which was of the of the four teams you played against right now, which one was the most annoying? The, the, still, Night Sister Acolyte, Night Sister Zombie. We've made so many videos on that. That's okay. the most annoying. And Double Kenobi, probably not Double Kenobi. Kenobi and uh, Zombie, probably number two. But still, I think having Acolyte and uh, Night Sister Zombie together is. Probably gonna be more prominent because not many people are running big AOE characters. You've made trooper teams. And so this is one. the thing is that you know no matter what Night Sister team you load up, there's mm -hmm. gonna be an AOE solution. And yep. I, how I, we don't even know how long this is gonna take. Twenty seconds, thirty seconds. Yeah, probably not too long. They're gonna probably run circles around me, but it's okay. Let's get rid of that buff right there. And now we pretty much uh, just put it on auto at this. Point. Um, yeah, it's just that they're, 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 gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna get a constant revives here and there. They're gonna maybe get a couple stuns, but the good thing is with um, Death Trooper, I believe, on the team, every time someone does an AoE to heal themselves, Shore Trooper is a straight healer. Uh, we're just mowing over this team now. They're just, um, they're gonna yeah. get, yeah, boom, boom, and then, yeah. <laughs> Right. I love this scene. They're like the Ghostbusters, essentially, for yeah. taking on the Knights. It's like, yeah. who are you gonna call? Imperial Troopers. <laughs> right. It's game over. Yeah, this is so satisfying. Seeing so, so Night Sisters aren't completely unbroken. You can still beat it. Just AoE, healing, and that's all the troopers have. Healing, right. AoE, all big damage. That's what it comes down to. So in conclusion, it looks like Acolyte is the best on defense if you're building a Night Sister team. If you're getting a lot of mirror matches, I uh, didn't show it here in the video, but I've play tested it. Asajj definitely steps out and does very well. And Asajj with General mm -hmm. Kenobi is also very well. All of them are going to present trouble against... Jedi train Ray teams, except for the the, the Barris team. I think Barris is dead. We said that in the last video. I think Barris, yeah. yeah I'm happy so about I don't that. see I Barris to be kind Yeah, of I don't see uh, Barris having a place in this team. The other three teams are very good, but mm -hmm. you know, an Asajj lead makes sense if you're going up against a mirror match. So if you're going to do a mirror match against Night Sisters, just swap the two around and then you're good to go. But at the end of the day. AOE is going to wipe them out. I mean, I bet Chase yep. even wipes them out. Probably. They just need, I think, I don't think they have as much healing as the Imperial Troopers do. Because every time Imperial right. Troopers get a hit with that trooper in there, they get a big health regeneration bonus, which helps them out in a situation Store Trooper can't heal. Right. But yeah, probably AOE. I've seen Lando, IG88 teams do fine against Knights. This is just AOE damage that uh, really is there, is the big crutch against um, Knights Sister teams. That's really what it comes down to. But not many people are running that right now. Right. All right. Well, guess Woo! what time it is right now? What's the time, baby? Is it giveaway time? It's the time, time for the giveaway. Oh, but this one, this one's my favorite. Ooh, I, I really like this giveaway. This is one of okay. my better ones. What do we got? So, we got? I, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did like this video, you are in luck. For every Woo! single person that likes this video, you will be getting for free an eight-star shirtless Kylo Ren. This is not we a scam. Got a five-foot chest. You know, Kylo Ren unmasked. Now we need a. Uh, a Kylo Ren unshirted. Unshirted. There is that even go. a word? <laughs> unshirted, de-shirted. Kylo Ren has been de-shirted. He, he rubs his chest when he's about to attack. Yeah, it's, it's just so weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, Thanks for watching and keep uh, on gaming. See you later.